I'm Hana, and this is PBS Reno STEM Works, the show where we explore careers in science, technology, engineering, and math, and what makes them so much fun. We take you inside businesses and talk to professionals in their fields and explore what they do. And today, we are headed over to visit with our friends at Breadware. PBS Reno STEM Works is brought to you in part by the Desert Research Institute. We all have our favorite gadgets, such as our gaming consoles and smartphones. But have you ever wondered how these electronics and toys are made? Who decides how big your screen should be? How to make the battery last as long as possible? Or how big the buttons on your gaming console should be? Well, these are just some of the day-to-day -day tasks usually reserved for engineers. At a company called Breadware, engineers are hard at work doing just that, helping their clients figure out the best way to design and build the latest electronic wonders. Today, we'll get to talk with three engineers at Breadware, Liz Mancuso, Joe Fitzpatrick, and Ryan Otto. We'll find out what it takes to research, design, and build the latest tech toys that will eventually end up on store shelves and in your hands. So come on, let's head over for a visit with our friends at Breadware to see what it takes to be an engineer. All right, here we go. So tell us, what do you do as an engineer at Breadware? My job on a day-to-day -day basis usually involves working with a team of engineers to help solve problems for our clients. And specifically, we help them figure out the electronics that are needed to develop their product. What type of sensors a product needs to be able to work well, whether it's wireless technology like cell signals or Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Designing a board or figuring out how much it might take to develop something. How to optimize this thing so that the battery life lasts longer or so that the function is easier for the user. We also use a lot of equipment that helps us take measurements on specific requirements that we're trying to find and we use those measurements to make decisions about what we need to do to move forward. Maybe I'll need to test something, turn something on, take some measurements, see if I can adjust something to make it work better. So if you're walking around with a, an iPhone or an Android phone, you need to know how long that battery might last during the day. And we use equipment that'll help us predict how much usage you might get out of that phone, for example. Why is engineering important? I think engineers are important because they're able to help solve problems that other people might not be able to. So we really wouldn't have the world that we live in today without STEM and engineering. Physics, engineering, all of this stuff, it, it, you can use those tools to explain why the lights are this color, why the sky is blue, how to design something like a phone so you can call somebody on the other side of the world. We work with a lot of clients that are trying to make a product themselves, but they don't maybe have all the right tools to do that. And we can come and step in and help them accomplish their goals, which makes us feel really good at the end of the day. Say you design something for your mountain bike and you're halfway through a ride and it breaks off. And well, yeah, it broke, that's bad, but you know, that gives you a chance to see why it broke. And then you can go in, you can beef up that part, and then it's stronger the next time. People are always looking for the next newest, best thing, whether it's a better camera on your phone, whether it's a fitness tracker that can tell you you need to be healthier and go work out more. I can use my skills to design these products to help improve people's lives. What do you love most about your job? The most rewarding thing about my job is at the end of the day when you see a product really come to life and you get to hold it and touch it, it really shows all the work that you put into it. Being an engineer, I'm always building something new. And I always come back to like, let's just go build something. That's what's fun for me. Visualizing the product before we even really start building it, how the product's gonna work, what it's gonna look like, and then to see that come to life is really cool. Every day there's more people that want to build something new and they're gonna need engineers to, to help build it. What are some of the most important skills an engineer needs to have? The most important skill for my job is just the ability to be able to solve problems and take information and make decisions based on that information. Whether it's a data sheet or an academic paper, being able to combine that into a new and novel solution is a really, really valuable skill. Sometimes you have to think outside the box about what the best way to go about getting to the solution is. And sometimes the problems that we have to solve are very challenging and there might not be one way to solve it. So you have to kind of weigh the options and just make the best decision with the information you have. Engineering always takes multiple iterations to figure something out. And it's almost more important that things fail so that you can figure out how to make it better. 
And another aspect to that is the software portion of it. You know, now software's in everything and learning how to write software and how to code could be one of the most important skills you learn. It's not nearly as complicated as you think and it really doesn't require any math skills. And so someone that's maybe not as good at math can still learn a lot of software and still get very into technology. What other advice do you have? I would just really encourage you to ask a lot of questions and don't be afraid to try something new. Take stuff apart, figure out how things work. See if you can get your hands dirty and actually build something yourself. My advice for kids if they're interested in robotics or engineering is give it a try. You know, it's really fun learning from your failures and then getting it working. That's the fun part. Find out what you enjoy doing before you get into a career where you're going to be working a lot. See what you actually enjoy doing. Science or engineering might seem like a really scary concept, but if you get more information about it, you'll actually find out that it's pretty fun and you can do a lot of things with your career, so don't be afraid to try. You never know until you try, and who knows, it might be, you might be incredibly good at it, but you're not gonna know unless you try. Learn more about it. It's not as scary as it sounds, and it can actually be really fun. There are a million different things that you could do with your job, and it doesn't have to be just one thing. So there's a lot of companies that need engineers for a variety of reasons, and the sky's the limit in terms of what you can do with your career. That is way cool. I had no idea how rewarding and fun an engineering job can be. Thanks to Liz, Ryan, and Joe, we found out about what they do at Breadware, what it takes to become an engineer, and how much fun it can be developing new technologies. I hope you had as much fun as I did finding out about these awesome careers at Breadware. Well, that's about all the time we have, but I want to thank you all for joining us for this episode of PBS Reno STEM Work. You can find out more information about Breadware at their website, breadware.com. For more information on these careers and others, visit pbsreno.org slash stemworks. And as always, don't forget to get out there and discover what it is that gets you going and on the right path to your STEM future. PBS Reno STEMWorks is brought to you in part by the Desert Research Institute.